know Rashmi, right? Already that you know NVDA is free uh, to yes. not license one, and uh, we'll see. You know, like you know what kind of strategy we will follow uh, when we will you know uh, go into when we will uh, start navigating through NVDA. Okay. So, yeah. So basically, uh, this NVDA is design or you know uh, this NVDA tool is uh, made for a blind person and low vision person. So because see, they completely rely on. Uh, only screen reader, they cannot see a screen, or you know, for the blind, I mean, for the blind person and for low vision person as well. So let me share my screen with you. Right. So are you able to see my screen, uh, Samil and Rashmi? Yes. Yes. I can. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so all right. So here, what we will do actually, we will go through all the uh, shortcut key which we use for NVDA, and mm -hmm. I will turn on my NVDA, and we'll see you know how we can navigate through you know uh, NVDA on uh, our browser. So basically, for this NVDA, uh, when we see a uh, uh, compatibility. Uh, Firefox is more compatible with this uh, uh, NVDA tool and same is for JAWS. It's like, you know, uh, IE is very compatible, like very much compatible. And, you know, for uh, like, you know, Safari, if you talk about the Safari, it will be like, you know, uh, our voiceover will be very, uh, I mean, more compatible actually. So uh, here mm -hmm. we will, what we will do actually, we'll look into that uh, with a Chrome because see uh, here, the thing is that, you know, uh, when uh, you will uh, run uh, your NVDA, uh, when you will on your NVDA, actually the command uh, or shortcut key will be same for all the browser actually. So okay. yeah, so it's, it will be similar for you know all the browsers. So what I'll do, you know, I'll just uh, turn on my uh, NVDA tool. So to turn on that, you know, you have a shortcut key which is Alt, Control, and N. So if you do like that, it will work. Or if it is yeah, so it's working now. Loading NVDA. Are you able to Welcome hear the announcement? Welcome to NVDA. Welcome to NVDA. Yeah. Okay. okay. Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. What are NVDA. We? I will just uh, NVD. Help. Tool sub menu. Go and uh, I will you know speech viewer. Click on this speech viewer so that you can uh, you can see the Microsoft. all NVDA. the things which NVDA is uh, announcing. Viewer. All right. So here, what basically we'll do actually when we will uh, Microsoft PowerPoint when you know when we, software when we start working on any any uh, any standard tool actually you know uh, and when we turn on it will automatically start uh, announcing actually so you know first of all the first thing you have to do is you know you have to press control so that you know it will be stop because it's it's annoying actually you know uh, because see automatically it will start uh, announcing all the elements all the controls we have on the page then second thing uh, just like you know, uh, if a person like you know, if the person blind person is visiting any page, that person don't know right about you know that page, right? So what basically he will do? He will start uh, you know uh, navigating on the page uh, using a linear navigation. So what does linear navigation means? So linear navigation is like you know uh, when you uh, have any page, you have to press up and down button, and you will go on all the links you have available on the page because see for the we know the contents we can see the contents that's why we directly click on the content right but for the blind person it's like you know everything is new for uh, that person right he he or right. she don't, he or she don't know like you know what kind of contents uh, are available on the page so what basically he will do he will just perform the linear navigation he will just he or she will go uh, through linear navigation and uh, uh, you know, uh, read all the read all the elements uh, have on the page actually. So what basically we'll do here? So we actually have two more uh, when we work on any uh, screen reader. We have two more. 
first mode is like a Slide three. browser mode. Screen. Uh, let me just one round drop NVD show speech. Okay, hey, but I don't see this NVDA speech viewer like uh, how to get it. Uh, is it so? What you have to do, you, you have Note, to just notification overflow. Click on this button, mm -hmm. NVDA. Click, right click, NVDA menu. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. And then you have to go to tool. tools. Okay. And then you have to select a speech viewer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. I got it now. I got it. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Microsoft. So, uh, as I was saying, you know, uh, when we work on any tool, we will be having a two mode actually. So one mode is will be a browser mode, which we call mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we call a reading mode as well. So browser mode and reading mode is the same, and we will be having a focus mode and uh, form mode. These are same. So what is that actually? So when we want to read a page, we use a browser mode or uh, I would say reading mode. And we just want to, when we just want to interact with any element, we just change our mode and then, you know, uh, yeah, we, we just change our mode and then we, you know, interact with the elements on the page we have. Okay, so when you say interact, like it's like if a form like, is open and we yeah. So it. suppose interaction means like you know if you want to fill the uh, input box, right? Hmm. If you want okay. to select any check box. These are the interaction, right? You are doing. You are right. not reading it. You are just you know uh, just selecting, unselecting all these things you are doing, right? So right. when you will do all these things, you will change your uh, mode uh, from you know browser mode to a form mode. Okay. Because these are the form contents, right? Mm -hmm. So checkbox, radio buttons, uh, input box, all this is your form uh, element. So you will change your mode from browser to uh, browser to your uh, form mode. But this is only for uh, this is only for NVDA. But when you talk about the JAWS, JAWS is like you know it will be done automatically. You don't have to do anything. Once the focus will I mean the once your focus will go to uh, input input uh, text box or radio button. It will directly change from browser mode to form mode. You don't have to do anything. Okay. But here in NVDA, yes, you have to change your browser mode to uh, I mean browser mode to form mode or form mode to browser mode. Hmm. Okay. Else, what will happen? Suppose uh, you are navigating on the page and you are navigating on the page and uh, suddenly you got one input box right on the mm -hmm. page. And if you just writing something, you know, like heartbeat or something, right? which start from H, right? Right. So what basically happened, what, what will happen actually, you know, when you will start writing heartbeat, it's like, you know, H, you will enter H, right? What mm -hmm. is will understand that you are looking for the heading there and right. it will start searching for heading there. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't want to, you know, uh, we, are, we are not looking for high heading there actually, you know, we are writing heartbeat there, right? Right. So right. for that, to understand that, you know, we are writing heartbeat, we will, uh, in, I mean, we will we'll tell our syndicator to, you know, just write H, not look for the hiding there on the page. Okay. So we will see that as well. So this let's do one thing. Navigation through NVDA speech. Let's Donate. do everything here. Home, calendar, Varadhanji, Homeland. All right. Homeland, coronavirus disease 2009. So we'll go uh, this page uh, and we'll see, you know, uh, the things, how it's working there. Address and search bar and it has auto complete control plus L. Does your ID have a star? Panel. Panel. Does your ID Homeland Security Home Homeland Security see, Home so document. The first violation Unknown. will be uh, when you uh, start uh, I mean taping on the page, you will see the skip to main content. So always yeah. when you design your page, this uh, link should be there actually. It will be hidden by default, but uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, see, once you will praise uh, tape, it, it will, uh, you know, it will be open and focus should be there because see the person who is blind, that person should, uh, I mean, this has to be only for the person who is blind, actually, you know, so that, you know, that person directly click on that, uh, skip to main content and jump to directly main section. So what is main? Sure. Main is like, like, you know, landmark, actually. So we divide our page on different, different landmarks. So main landmark, banner landmark, 
contain info. So all these are landmark. So it's mm -hmm. it's very easy for the person who you know uh, blind like you no know, he don't want to go to all this. There, there are so many links here, right? He don't want to go to there actually. Directly once I'll click on that experiment and then directly he will jump to main area, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we use a uh, skip to main content. So okay, start navigating now. Banner landmark list with four items. Contact us. Link. Contact us. So we are here. NVDA speech. Four items. It Quick all links. all these four items is under a list actually. Quick links, link, quick links. Sitemap link, sitemap. AZ index link, AZ index. So because these are the links, that's why I'm you know uh, using my tape actually. But even if you are not using tape, if you want to go as a linear navigation, you can press up and down button. Out of list visited link graphic U dot S department. Because what will happen? Seal. All the links, all the focusable elements, all the tapeable elements will be you know. Uh, Selected by you know using a tape, but you know what about the elements which is not uh, focusable? Which what about the elements which is not tapeable actually? So how you will you know select those elements? So for that you have to just press up and down arrow button, and you can select all the elements on the page. So here uh, I'm just treating myself as a blind person, and I'm just pressing uh, up and down arrow button, and we'll see you know like uh, how it's working. So I just started pressing a uh, down button. I just reached to a uh, home lane security. Now I'll press again down button. List with seven items link graphic Facebook I NVD NVDA speech viewer. Our mission edit read only multi line. Home you dot s department of homelands list with seven items link graphic Facebook icon so we link have graphic seven Twitter icon link item graphic here. Instagram Facebook, icon link graphic Twitter. LinkedIn icon link graphic Flickr icon. Out of list main menu navigation landmark list with out of list out of graphic out of link link C. So if you press uh, I mean right and left arrow, it will just announce only just character. E B O O K space I C O N out of W. But you want to just go to I mean you don't want to read you know uh, by uh, character actually. You just want to read you know as a word. So you will just press up and down actually. So, out of list visited list out of list out of list list with twitter icon, instagram icon graphic link follow home now we'll security see why it's instagram. announcing like that so we will just go we will inspect menu, sub menu if we inspect this homeland security home document link graphic facebook icon link graphic twitter icon link graphic instagram head clickable select an element in the page to inspect okay, it so toggle select this not elements panel now top. see uh, it's announcing Twitter icon. So Twitter icon is Twitter I, icon. is announcing slash because profile, we have given alternative Twitter. text as a Twitter icon there. So that's why it's very important actually when we uh, have any image on the page, we always give alternative text to that. If it is not there, Alt. we can see the impact of that as well. L. Let me see. L. Blank. It's blank now. So. Homeland. Facebook I. Follow Homeland Security on Twitter link. So let me just move. Stopping illegal. Document to clickable select elements panel property page. Page DOM tree view. Less clickable select to Facebook icon. Element blank slash pro equal. Home, follow Homeland Security on Facebook link. So it's not saying like Facebook icon. So because see, we already uh, deleted that you know uh, alternative text, which is a Facebook uh, icon. Follow Homeland Security on Twitter link. Instagram icon graphic link. Follow Homeland Instagram Security icon on link. Instagram. It's saying like that because for these two, it's not saying that because you already remove that you know alternative text for these two, two image act. To get missing image So that's why we, you know, uh, the give the uh, alternative text when you know when we have uh, any informative image on our web page. I will not say all the decorative image should have this alternative text, but you know all the informative image definitely should have alternative text on the image. LinkedIn icon graphic link follow home Flickr icon graphic link out of list main menu oh, navigation yes. landmark list with six items link topics link. So what I did uh, when my list started from here. News link. In focus link. Like 
list with seven items follow homeland security on facebook link you dot to list with seven items link so when follow say homeland list of seven items what i'll do i will not use my up and down arrow now i will just start you know uh, using a t button because see i know it's you know under a uh, list we have a link so when i press tape follow it will go link flicker youtube i go delivery icon graphic link subscribe okay. to email if i press again security tape. main menu navigation landmark list with six items top main menu link. So this is the main menu actually, which I, we talk about, you know, uh, when we will uh, place a skip to main contain our focus will come here. Actually, this is the main menu. News link. Okay. So if you would have tapped to that uh, skip to main content, then it would have come to this topics tab. Yes. So it okay. will come there. Yeah. So wherever, you know, we have, whenever, wherever you uh, say it as a main uh, landmark, the focus will go there actually. Okay. So, okay. News link. In focus link. How do I get involved link? You are pressing out tab right, right, right now. I'm pressing tab. Okay. Out of list list with link follow homeland. You dot s department of home list with link graphic out of list out of list enter search term edit enter search term. Because what you have to do actually, you know, uh, uh, Somil and Rashmi, uh, when your list will start, suppose your list started from here, right? From Facebook. So your uh, when you are here under a list, you have to press tape. And then if you are again here, you will start pressing your button tape. Choose your area of search. Home. You list with seven items. Follow home. Follow. Flick. Main menu. Out of list. Enter search term. S. Edit. Enter search term. C. So now it's like uh, it's saying like uh, enter the search terms here. So if I press it, page content with left menu region news. What I did, updates, I just updates, I did actually you know uh, what happened here is you know no, uh, my protect. my you know uh, mode was a browser or reading mode, you no, know? mm. and I just uh, tried to enter uh, something. It started with you know H. Yeah, so it jumped to heading. It jumped to heading actually. It didn't know like you know uh, I'm just writing something there. So for okay. that, what basically you have to do, you have to change your mode first of all, because see, you are under form actually. You are interacting with the form elements. Mm -hmm. So if you come here, banner landmark, and then you have to search term. The sound will come here. This sound will come, and then page, 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 page. You can write anything. No search results. Right. Uh, how 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 did you do that? Can you? It's do it a again? it's a insert and a space a space bar actually together. Oh. oh. And again, you have to change it again. So you have to press same insert and space bar. Acting secretary. Again, it turn, turn into you know uh, from a uh, form mode to browser mode. You got it? Uh, sorry, once more. Can you repeat that? So it's like you know uh, to change from uh, uh, form mode to browser mode or browser mode to form mode. You have to press insert uh, space bar. Okay, so for vice versa, it's insert space right. only. Yes, right. Yes. So oh. once you are done with, you know, uh, it will be only fifth NVDA. For JAWS, you don't have to do anything actually. Okay. Yeah. It will be only with uh, NVDA. So this question definitely asked actually when we go for interview, right? Uh, Samil and Rashmi. So they asked like, you know, uh, what will be your strategy actually? You know, how you will navigate on the page? So you have to say, you know, uh, we because uh, they just want to uh, uh, know actually like, you know, as a blind person, what will be your approach actually. So your approach will be, you know, you cannot see anything, right? It's a, your approach should be like, you know, you will just start navigating on the page using a linear navigation, right? Okay. Because you don't okay. know, right? How many hmm. sections are there? How many links are there? You don't know anything, right? So, hmm. but yeah, once you are uh, aware, you know, like, you know, on the page, you have uh, four headings, five links, and you know that, uh, uh, heading level two, you have some content which you always prefer to read actually, you know, so next time when you will visit on the same page, you will direct, you will not go through, you know, all the links, all the things there, you know, all the elements there, you will directly jump heading to heading and you dial directly reach to that, you know, particular heading you have actually on the page. So okay. suppose, suppose this is the heading actually, just let me see. Hey, Mayor. Heading level three. Yeah. Yeah. 
So if, if I don't change to the browse mode and just uh, continue with the form mode, then it will read all the headings like what whatever it is reading in browser mode, right? Uh, but you know, most of the time you will face issue actually, you know, uh, because see, this I is designed only for, you know, I mean, see form mode is designed only for, you know, uh, interacting with the form elements, uh, Rashmi. But there are like some pages which are like form element with some information we have to, so in each line, we cannot like switch to browser and switch to switch to form, like, you know, it's for filling the form, you, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I cannot. Switch like every line to browser mode and every line to so form let's mode. Try that. Right. So let's try that. Let's try that. So if you are here, banner line F, F, okay. F, 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 F,
Right. Yeah. For us, actually, yeah, definitely, we have to you know test our application so that you know we will you know that's why you know we will go with you know uh, just pressing tab and we will go each and every elements on the page. But you know uh, for the blind person perspective, you definitely yeah you have to just press up and down uh, arrow button. Yes. Oh. Let me see what is the issue here. There's a one more key here, uh, shorter key uh, for this NVDA. It's it's a insert queue and it will be you know turn off. So I just turn off again. I will turn on. Okay. Okay. But Homeland, Homeland Security. I'm here. H H H H H H D F D F. Choose your area of search. Combo box. Submit search button. Search. See, it is wrong button, right? Choose yeah. Choose your area of submit search button. Search. Did you see the ear tone sound? Enter search. Choose your area. Submit search button. Search. Mm, yeah. Let's yeah. change actually. Page contact. Okay. That's the uh, sound for uh, 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 more to be changing. Yes, like it's more change. Yeah, when you browser. yeah when you hear this aircon uh, sound, it's like you know they are. I mean, it's a change. Uh, I, I mean, see the mode is already changed now. Oh, yeah. So out of list link, go to slide one. Link go to slide two. link slide eight. Link go to slide nine. Out of region heading level two. Link news and updates. Link graphic main content region. Link. Go to go to slide ten. Link. Go 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 to slide five. Link. Go to, go to slide three link. So you are tapping the up button to navigate. Um, here they have, you know, they did some mystery actually. Uh, I'm just pressing a tab, and you know, for previous elements, I'm just pressing a shift plus tab actually. So tab oh. will be you know go forward, and for you know uh, going to you know previous elements, I will just press a uh, shift and tab together, and it will okay. go to previous elements. Go to oh, slide yeah. two. Link. And in case of up and down button, like uh, ideally, it should have been working with up and down button, right? Go yes. To list, oh. Go to slide one link. So for slide, I said like you know a slide actually. So link slide eight link. Go to slide out of region. It's not working with you know that you know up and down. Eight. First thing. Main. Second issue here is like you know uh, when I select this. Uh, go to slide nine link. Slide and if I press hit enter actually. It's announce. It should announce something, you know, but it's not announcing anything here. Go to slide eight. See, there's no clue actually. What is the slide is all about actually? Go right. See, there's no nothing here. Go. So in this case, actually, you know, blind person will be completely blind. You know what is happening actually on the page? What kind of information they have given on the slide one, slide two, or slide three actually? So. Mm -hmm. It should be there. I mean, see, when we go to each go, slide, it should to, announce. I mean, each, slide four each slide should have a alternative text associated with you know that slide actually. But here, it's not actually here. Okay. Okay. Go to slide five. Link links out of region heading level two. Link news and updates. Link graphic clickable RSS icon. Okay. Heading level three May seventh. This is the heading level three. Link press release. Heading level three link acting secretary Wolf announces new Homeland Security so this advisory is heading level council three. members. Let's say uh, I know this page and next time, you know, uh, again, you know, I'm visiting same page. What I'll do, I'll just. Content info. Heading 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 heading. Heading. So I'm here, yes. Address. Uh -huh. doc, clickable select an element uh -huh. in the address. Doc, toggle device Let toolbar. Turn off close button. All right. I'll be here. Homeland Security Home at Homeland Security yeah. Home. I'll document. press H. Page content with left three. May 7th heading level 3. Directly I reach to, you know, uh, if I press H and 3, it will directly jump to, you know, all the, I mean, see, wherever, you know, I have, you know, heading level 3 on my page. If I press again 3. Acting Secretary Wolf announces new Homeland Security Advisory Council members link heading level 3. Heading level 3. May 4th heading level 3. Weekly update. DHS response to COVID-19 link heading level three. So I can navigate on all the heading level three on the page. If I press H and I followed by, you know, uh, three, 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 three. So it will be, you know, it will jump to all three levels headings on the page. So if I know, like, you know, uh, uh, I have uh, all the information which I need or which I want to read actually, I can directly press H and you know, I can press three and then it will jump to that, you know, particular that heading. 
so it's be easy for me you know next time when i'll visit same website i don't want to go to all the links there all the elements there i will directly jump to that you know specific section and i will read whatever content i just want to read okay right mm -hmm. hey bharat uh, how can we see on the screen um, all the heading level links you want to see the heading level yeah okay on so what we do the, you when just you submit it in homeland security home document you will inspect no no in our report. nvidia tool in nvidia you want to see right yeah yeah Okay, just one minute. I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. So here, yeah, here you can see the heading level is here, but I will just open that as well. H three. Homeland Security. Elements list. So dialogue. what you have to do here is, uh, Rashmi and uh, Somil, you have to press Insert F seven. So okay. on on your machine, you have to press Insert F seven. It will open one dialog box. For you, okay. there you can see the number of links available on the page. Then, if you just select the heading, heading button heading. here, it will Grouping. tell you all the headings, headings you have available button. on the page. And then, if you uh, form fields. want form to see fields the form, radio. you can see here all the forms available on the page and buttons. But, buttons radio button. These two buttons are available on the page, and then you will land, be having land a marks. landmark. So all these things you can see here, and if you can select it menu, and you can say move, move to, to you, you will directly jump help, there. Actually. Main level one, pick up, move to, move, help, banner landmark, main menu, navigation, landmark, list with six items. So I just select the main landmark and it directly jumped to main landmark. So to just want to see, but see, but develop, I mean, see blind person will not use this much because uh, it will be very confusing for that person. Uh, like you know, pressing insert and F7, and you know he will be getting, or she will be getting, you know, lots of link form elements there. But yeah, how I mean, this is how we can see, you know, all the headings, all the form, all the links, all the landmarks which we have available on the page. Okay, I tried insert F7, like it uh, didn't do anything for me. Is it? No, it should work. Uh, only just insert F7. Elements list dialog, tree view, main menu. Insert F7 you have to do. It will show you elements list dialog box. If it is not, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check again, you know, I uh, will check later. Maybe uh, mm -hmm. uh, my airplane mode is along with that F7 key, that's fine. Yeah, Maybe, also. you know, uh, but it should work because see, it's what uh, definitely what on, you know, a uh, window machine, yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay, yeah. I'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, this is how we can see, you know, all the things uh, we have available on the page. But again, I would say we will follow a linear navigation. We will not go, you know, directly to the, uh, that list item, which we have okay. when we press uh, insert F7. Uh, we will just follow the linear navigation. We will just look into all the browser mode and uh, form mode. And, you know, we will interact with, you know, all the elements we have available on the page uh, under a form. And, you know, uh, when we will talk about the reading part, definitely we'll be in, you know, our browser mode. Browser mode is basically just reading mode. So. Updated fact, Microsoft, Microsoft PowerPoint on your software technology. Yeah, so maybe you have far. to press uh, insert and there is a small function. You see F pen down and function yeah. and then F7. Yeah, even I tried that. <laughs> even along with that also it's not working. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's. Yeah, we'll look into that, you know, so we'll don't worry. Yeah, definitely. We'll, yeah, definitely do that. So these things and... Uh, Slide four. Screen. As you already, uh, I know, already seen that, you know, uh, text for grader. input text box, radio buttons, uh, we will be, you know, changing all, all these things we already have seen, actually, you know, we'll be, you know, we have seen our browser modes and, you know, uh, our uh, form mode, both, both we have seen here. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so, okay, there's nothing. I mean, this theoretical part you can read, but you know, already I have covered all this. <laughs> so, it will Slide be five, screen reader. Text area, checkbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there will be a beep and sound. We already left. heard this beep sound, right? When we change our mode. Slide five. Right? Mm -hmm. So, already we have seen this. Browse mode is active again. Thumbnails. 
So, okay. So here it's like, it's important to know under which circumstance, you know, uh, which interaction mode is used. So when reading a page, browser mode is used. And when, when interacting with, ele uh, with an element, focus mode is used. So these two things we have to, you know, remember in our mind, actually, you know, that, you know, uh, what we have to do with, you know, we are interacting with the element and what we have to do, you know, when we are reading the page, actually. Right? Slide seven. And, and these are the uh, shorter key, which we have here. Like, you know, uh, by default, if you want to just press uh, Alt, Control and N, your student reader will open. NVDA. NVDA will be open. Or if you want to just go, you can just go from here. Type and here to search button. Cortana NVIDIA window. From here as well. So it's up to you. So there's Microsoft a shortcut key here. Uh, control Alt uh, and N. To tweet, uh, you have insert queue. You can tweet uh, your uh, NVDA. And I said, as soon as you will turn on your student reader, it will start announcing, which is very annoying actually. So what you will do, you will press a uh, control button and it will stop. So that you know you can you get the time you know to think about it like you know why why you open this uh, NVD and what what is your purpose actually so just press control and it will stop announcing and then if you press uh, insert and down arrow button then it will start reading continuously from that point so if suppose Tap. I have here Homeland Security I just press control and I just want to read my focus is right now on topic here you dot s so let's news link. my focus is here on news i just want to read from there to till end so what i'll do i'll just press insert and arrow button i mean down down arrow button link news link in focus link how do i link get involved link about dhs out of list enter search term s edit h h h h h h d f d f d f choose your area of search combo box collapsed news and update submit search so when it say combo box, uh, it's collapse. So this is the state. This is the state, uh, you know, which is showing, I mean, telling us, you know, uh, because we use, uh, it, it states, you know, collapse and, you know, expanded there. So in REI attributes, we will look into that, you know, like, you know, how we can see it, our uh, state there actually. So we are, we are having so many states. Like if you have a toggle button, toggle button can be, you know, uh, praised or not praised. Like, you know, here the uh, drop down list is, you know, like collapsed and expanded. So these are the states which we have and which we say it using our ARI attributes. So what I did, as soon as I press uh, insert and Daro, button down arrow button, it started Page announcing. content with left menu region, main content region list with one items link graphic clickable. Does your ID have a star? Beginning 10 slash 1 slash 2021. You will need a real ID compliant license or another link graphic clickable acceptable form of ID, such as a valid password. Right. But this is only just for to, you know, uh, show you like, you know, uh, we can, uh, you know, start reading our uh, sim reader using an insert and down arrow, but no one used this actually, you know, because see, uh, basically you have to interact with the page actually. It's not like, you know, it will be just keep reading all these contents on the page. So this is just only shorter key we have. On on your software, Microsoft uh, so Bharat, PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. uh, like, can you navigate back to that uh, okay. uh, website? Microsoft uh, on home, Homeland Security. Yeah. So initially, you say like we are on this page and we turn on our NVDA. Mm -hmm. So how will a blind person know like from where he should study? He should start reading from where the very dhs.gov URL itself. Right? Content info. So Land what he will do? He will just DHS. you know. For the blind person directly, he will be Open here on the address bar. Mm -hmm. Right. He will, right. he and any, any blind person will be here actually. And from mm -hmm. there, he will start tabbing. Homeland Secure Banner Landmark Official Website. Because the definitely this portion will be asked in interview as well. You know, if suppose a blind person is lost, right? Where he was mm -hmm. actually, right? So what he will do, mm -hmm. he will just go back to, you know, address bar first. And then start navigating from there, you know, again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because see uh, that for that person, right? Nothing uh, is display, right? For him, uh, nothing will be you no know, visible, right? So what mm -hmm. he can do, he will directly go to you know again address bar and start you know navigating that page. Okay. okay. Yeah. And okay. if that person know already, like you know, uh, if suppose that person is here, mm, suppose. Easy. Yeah. 
and suppose yeah uh, that person lost right you know uh, that where he was actually but that person know right okay uh, we have a shorter key which is heading and that person know like you know okay my contents which i want to visit is uh, in a landmark which is in you know under a contain info landmark directly he will press or she will press a d button d is for you know uh, finding a landmark on the page so if the person is uh, well i mean have a good knowledge on a, nvda jaws or any other screen reader directly that person can you know navigate through uh, using a you know shortcut key oh okay. yeah but this is an entry question like you know if you are lost you have to just go to again on uh, your address bar and you have to start you know navigating from there mm -hmm. yeah yeah on on your software microsoft so same uh, for select we just like you know if i have homeland secure how do i so how like. do i is i just selected this is the link actually i just selected you know but to activate this i have to press enter so for selecting i use tab for you know activate that link i just press enter mm -hmm. okay. on your microsoft and then we have a uh, to activate we can use enter space bar as well for button as well you know to activate we press enter button and uh, this already we have seen for reading uh, items next item we press you know down button down arrow button right yeah, yeah. and for heading it will be like h and h. if uh, with h if you press 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will jump to you know uh, uh, on that level actually so if you press h plus 2 it will jump to heading level 2 if you press h and 3 it will jump to heading level 3 like that we also saw insert f7 insert f7 is like you know for the you can see all the headings all the links all the form all the landmark uh, in mm -hmm. one uh, one dialog box actually and from there you can select it and you can yeah you can go anywhere where you want to go actually using that for landmark definitely i said uh, as i already said you know uh, we have ev any website actually we divide our application in different landmark actually so we have section <laughs> Landmark is like you know separate section under you know uh, your HTML page. So let's try here. Page content with left menu region main con content info landmark list with six so items is, topics. So they have topics. used a content info. So these things they have all these things is a content info. So suppose if blind person wants to jump to you know only on uh, interested only on you know a uh, content info landmark, that person will directly press the D. He will not go through all the elements. there on the page that he will press d and come here directly and the first element will be selected like you know on this content info landmark my first element was like a uh, topic so topic link is selected here and then that person want to visit link get involved go to other link he can start pressing again uh, up and down arrow button link how to visit link all these link about dhs link side links link about dhs right and again if just want to go to other landmark no next landmark so now there's no landmark available after this so what he will do he will uh, do like you know press shift and d so shift and d will be like it will go to you know previous landmark page content with left menu region main content region list with this one is the item main reason. so this is also a, a landmark when you Beginning say main reason it's main reason is a landmark 21 you will need banner landmark this main banner landmark. navigation landmark list with so this was same thing here right so link. if you open this elements list dialog you will be having a uh, main main menu content content info left and this is the main landmark content map banner skip level 0 skip to the main content skip to main content we saw one of four. and then we we are having main, a banner level 1 main menu <laughs> banner, page page content, content left with left menu. and then Con so if i press here homeland secure address and Homeland Security Home Document Link Topics Link News Link In Focus Link How Do Banner Landmark U.S. Flag Signifying That This Is A United States Federal Government Website Graphic Clickable Main Menu Navigation Landmark List With Six Items Topics Link News Link In Focus Link How Do I Link Get Involved Link About DHS Page Content With Left Menu Region Main Content Region List With One Items DHS Response Coronavirus Content info landmark list with six items. So these are the three, topics, three landmarks topics. we have available on this page, and uh, it's very easy, right? Uh, 
so like you know suppose i just want to go to uh, my uh, navigation landmark i will just press shift hey banner landmark main menu here. navigation landmark list with six items topics link news link in focus and, uh, link i can select whatever link i just want to select from here so it's very easy and convenient for me as well you know jumping from landmark to landmark or you know heading to heading uh because see if you will not if you go with you know a uh, linear navigation again there is a drawback here so if you know this shortcut key you can directly jump right but the person who's a blind i'm saying you know the person blind and first time he is visiting any website then that person has to go with linear navigation but next time if uh, suppose that person know okay there's a topic heading we have here on the page and i just want to read uh, the content whatever contents there you know we have under topic that person will not uh, press keep pressing you know tab and you know will reach there that person will directly press h clickable page content with left menu region you are here heading clickable level 2 main content region topics heading so, level 1 list with 22 border security link border academic topics heading level 1 so directly i can come here i don't want to navigate all yeah, these links H again and again index. i can directly press h because i know on this page uh, and that's why that's why i said you know whenever you design your page uh, you should be having a meaningful title for that page because the title definitely when you navigate to any page it should announce properly banner landmark main menu navigation it landmark list also screen. like when you tap on this topics uh, tab and uh, this below details came up uh, mm -hmm. but it announced nothing right let me see where uh, let focus. me focus Yeah. So it's new. Clickable banner landmark main menu navigation landmark list with six items news link news homeland security. So Clickable news homeland security is like title for navigation landmark link skip to okay. main content. Okay. But shouldn't the focus be there somewhere on like press release or news somewhere? Uh when I'm mean, like someone can you come up again? Uh, like uh, when you like can you tap back on topics? Okay. So topics, right? Okay. So I'm just topics. selecting this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Clickable Enter. banner landmark main menu navigation no, landmark open. list with six items topics visited link topics homeland security clickable skip to the main content navigation landmark link skip to main click a quick link yeah, we can just see this index is link the AC issue index. see here why is issue because see my focus is back side it's not mm. at the dialog box so this is the issue here as soon as yeah. any dialog box open your focus should go directly to that dialog box yes and we saw that right using a um, if we use a tab index minus 1 we can set our focus on on directly on that dialog box so here mm -hmm. when i'm pressing you dot twitter insta flicker icon all my focus is back side actually it's in, my focus flicker. is not on this uh, i just want to select this yes i will give feedback no thanks my focus should be here right right it's not there i know if i press escape button i can escape it actually this is the another thing actually always your dialog box have two option to you know uh, dismiss one is mm -hmm. using a cancel button on dialog box another one is you know you can press escape and it should you know disappear okay this thing should be there so if suppose my focus is not going there and even if escape escape button is also not working then how would i you know dismiss that you know dialog box it will be very difficult for me yeah. to write dismiss that dialog box right. so for right. this case uh, you know we should be having two options escape and cancel button on that page okay okay so you were saying like you know on topic what what yeah so see this topics page came up right so mm -hmm. now it's not announcing anything so when you uh, tap again tab oh. or the okay. down key uh huh so whenever you uh, you navigate to any page actually you know your focus will be topics. on first element of the page okay it will that it will not be you know your focus will not directly go to you know that topic so then say if you i press suppose news let's main say main menu navigation if I, if landmark I press news six items news visited link okay. news homeland security so news Clickable homeland security is my title main menu navigation landmark this will help us blind user to understand like okay he is on news uh, page and now if i just want to go to news i will press h page content with left menu region you are here heading clickable level 2 level 2 main content region news heading level 1 this is the news so i'm here now news so news level heading this menu 
are news homeland security document heading level one heading level one news yes. document heading elements level. news oh. why this news will not be focusable because see uh, it's not a news. link it's not a button it's not you know uh, any form elements right so it cannot be focused we cannot make this as a fo uh, you know focusable if you want you can make it but you know uh, i mean there's no need to make this element as a focusable even if you make fo focusable uh, blind user don't care it right but for that right. person it's like you know there's nothing right in front of him so mm -hmm. if even if uh, yeah so likewise you know you can press h and then you can directly jump to that heading because see heading you already know that shortcut key right h so you can press h yeah. and you can yeah directly go there yes God. Even God. that element is selecting or not yes. selecting doesn't make sense, right? For that blind person. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, so you will be yes. here, and then you will press list with fifteen items. Press releases link. Press. So here press I releases. have made this heading as a link. So if you inspect menu, this sub menu, because they have some detail under this document. heading actually. So that's why they made this heading, heading as a link. Three link press releases. So it's here. So heading document. level three. And they have given this elements panel anchor tag. Take. So anchor tag will make this heading as a link. Press release it. So if I just want, see, Chrome if you pen. want, you can make you know high. I mean, focusable, but unnecessary. If close button. This use, is the main heading, use. and you want all this is a child heading press. heading for this actually. So if you want this press release, press release, press release has so suppose that uh, heading has a, lots of other details, right? So you can make this heading as a you know a uh, link. And you can click on that, and you can directly go yeah. to that you know section. So it's up to you. But this no, is not a violation. Violation will be like you know when you are using heading level two first, and then you are using heading level one after that. That's the violation. Oh. But making a heading level uh, linked or not, that's not a violation actually. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, likewise, uh, you can you know navigate. See, we will see more uh, shortcut key as well, uh, Somil, on this. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, before that, you know, before we proceed, actually, just go and you know, just navigate uh, your own on your machine, and you know, yeah. try to find out you know what kind of issue you are seeing there. Are you able to see? When I said motor disability, you have to navigate on all the elements you have on the page. There should not be you no know, uh, element on the page like where you are not able to reach. So mm -hmm. for the person who don't want to use the mouse and the person who has a disability, right, motor disability, that cannot person cannot use the mouse. Should that person should be able to you know select all the items on the page using a, only a keyboard actually. So you have to try all the elements to be selected by you know keyboard only. Right. Yeah. So just try your uh, own. Uh, and